Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your Acer Nitro 5. I did a video like this about, I think maybe a month ago, where I show you guys how to upgrade the RAM. This is going to be a very similar video, except I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the storage. So yeah, first things first, you're going to want to remove all 11 screws. I believe there's 11. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All 12 screws. Yeah, then you're just going to want to pry the back panel off. I recommend using a spudger tool, but if you have to, uh, you can use a pocket knife, which I don't recommend because you can actually damage the bottom half of your laptop. So a spudger tool or like a fingernail or something would be ideal, but a pocket knife will work as well. But I'll see you guys when I do that. All right, now that we have all the screws out, we can just kind of pry the back panel off. I've already had the back panel off a few times, so um, it comes off really easy for me. It will not be as easy for you. All you're going to want to do now is locate this right here. This is your main storage device. You should have two of these heat sinks. I actually only have one of them because I lost the other one. It's somewhere in my amount of drawers that I have in my desk and uh, I'm too lazy to find it. But all you guys are going to want to do is I'll take the main one out, which you guys are already going to have in. You're just going to want to repeat this in the other slot. So you're going to have, all right, so you've already got your SSD in this slot. This is only a PCIe slot, which means that it will not support SATA SSDs, which most SATA SSDs have two notches in them, as you can see right there. Um, some of them don't. Some NVMe SSDs also have um, two notches in them. Most of the NVMe SSDs don't. This is an NVMe SSD. It does say PCI Express on it. So, um, yeah, this will work in either slots. However, I'm just going to put it back in the slot it was in because that's the slot I like it in. So, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert it at an angle, and then just push in, and then just push down. Put this heat sink in. Insert the heat sink at an angle as well and um, push it in. Just push the heat sink down. Put your screw, your tiny screw, don't lose it, on top of the screwdriver, on the tip of the screwdriver. And just screw it down and just screw it into place. That's basically it, that's how you upgrade the storage. Also, if you wanna do the hard drive or put in a actual legitimate 2.5 inch thing, I'll show you guys how to do that next. Um, what you're going to want to do is, I'm assuming you already don't have a hard drive in here, so you're not going to have any cables to connect. Your cables are going to come in a separate bag that came with your laptop, so don't lose that bag. Go find that bag if you don't know where it's at. But yeah, the sled might as well, I'm not sure. They should have this cable. It's a ribbon to SATA data and SATA power cable. So now that you have your four screws, your tin plastic something drive sled and your SATA cable and your drive um whether it's a hard drive or an ssd i'm going to be using a hard drive ssd goes exactly the same um just want to put the hard drive inside the sled make sure that the holes on the hard drive i don't know how well you guys can see those holes line up with the holes on the sled so yep and um then just take these four little silver screws and screw one into each hole and um yeah, you should be pretty much good to go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. All right, now that you have all four screws inside the hard drive and the hard drive's in the sled, hopefully correctly, you just want to going to locate this little black connector on your motherboard. I don't know how well you guys can see that. You're just going to want to push it up with your finger. It should not require much force at all. And then once you do that, you're going to want to line the slots in this connector up with the slots on your drive. Just slot it in. Remember, don't force it. And then once you do that, just set this into the space in the laptop. Line it up on the four studs or standoffs. Put the cable flat into that um, thing that you just pushed up. It should just go in. And uh, then just push that thing back down. And then your hard drive's connected. And take these four little black screws right here and um, just put them one into each stud. Or you can just put two in if you're lazy. But I recommend putting all four in, especially for a hard drive. And, um, yeah, once you do that, you should be good to go. So, three, two, one. Then once you're done with that, you want to grab your back panel. Assuming you're obviously not upgrading RAM, which if you are, there will be a link over in the top right corner. Just want to, want to grab your back panel and then just clip it back on. I would not recommend screwing... It back in quite yet because there's some things that you're going to want to do if it's not working properly it's going to suck to have to unscrew it again so yep and uh, then you're just going to want to log into your computer and make sure that everything's good it's not going to show up right away i'm going to show you guys how to set that up here in a second so stay with me 
Once you have everything plugged in properly and your computer's on, you're just gonna wanna look up create and format hard disk partitions. So it's called disk management. Look up disk management and then open this up. And I already have mine uh, formatted and everything because I've been using it. But all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna see unallocated storage and then you're just gonna wanna click on format. It should just do that. And if it's gonna be a secondary drive, you don't need partitions. So. Just make it that and just click format and it should be good to go. Without further ado guys, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.